football team's locker room where the football team just found out that they made the FCS playoffs, playing Colgate here at home at 3.30 next Saturday. Hear what the coaches and the players had to say. It's as nervous as you can be, Al, because it's not in your hands. You know what I mean? It's in somebody else's opinion of if, are you good enough to be in it, you know, and are you good enough to play. And obviously these kids work of, of the season, and especially the last four or five weeks, you know, paid off. You know, they, they, they beat, you know, a really good Richmond team, uh, did a good job against Rhode Island, did a good job against Albany, and then beat Maine here. You know, a team that gave everybody fits the whole year. So you look at it, you know, I think the win against Colgate was huge for us. You know, they're a good football team. They win the Patriot League. You know, you just go the whole thing. Then, you know, the league, our league, beats up on people, you know, week in and week out, year in and year out. And um, it prepares you for the playoffs. But more importantly, it, it helps helps get you ready for the playoffs. And unfortunately, it knocks people out of the playoffs, you know. I don't even know what happened in the other end of the bracket, you know. I don't know who else is in, but all I know is we're in, you know, and turn the TV off and not care about it. But I'm really happy for – Again, the, the 19 seniors that, that left the program yesterday. And, you know, you catch out of the corner of your eye some of those kids, you know, like Sean Goldrich is sky high, man. I mean, I've seen Julius, Julian Turner's, you know, said it's the best day of his life, you know, things like that. You know, they all got a chance to play one more game, you know. And now we got to go do something. That's that's what's great, man. Even being that nervous, I, I had confidence in us and what we did in the past four weeks that, you know, they would show us some faith and they did. And I'm overjoyed for what just happened for us. A second opportunity, a second chance at life for this football team. And I'm ready to go. This is an amazing experience. We fought back. Um, a lot of adversity this year. It's just it, the feeling going through your body as soon as you see your name pop up on that screen is you really can't explain it. It's awesome to be a part of. And I'm so glad they gave us another chance because uh, I know this team deserves it. Just to be a part of this tradition is, is an amazing feeling. But to be able to carry it on and keep it going means so much more, you know. And it just means a lot that we get to add to that tower, you know what I mean? Put another year on that list and say we did that and be a part of it. it you, you try to put your, your mind off of it. You try to think about other things, but it's really hard to do. Um, you know that you know today was a big day for us. We really had no idea what to expect. All these things you're hearing, we're in, we're out. We have no chance. We have a shot. You don't really know what to think. So, you know, you just, you just at that point, you just got to, you know, pray for yourself, pray for your team, and then hope the best works out. And, um, it worked out today for us, which is awesome. I'm so excited. I can't explain it. It's great. We don't lose here. <laughs> we just don't lose here, and it's, it's the best place to be in the world. I don't want to play nowhere else. I don't want to be nowhere else. And we're very fortunate that we get to take on a Colgate team again who's gotten a lot better since the first time we played them. But they have to come here this time. And, you know, we're a whole different type of animal. It really is. It was something special what we did, and I'm just so happy they gave us another chance. I think we got a lot of momentum going into this. I'm confident that we're going to put on a show in the playoffs. Zero zero right now, boys. You got a chance. You got another chance. To play another day. The most important thing: playing at home again, boys. If you get it done. Back Colgate. And they got a lot better since the beginning of the year. You know how hard it is to beat a team twice. We've only done it once. And that was two years ago. But if we do what we're supposed to do, play the way we're supposed to play, we'll have a great opportunity to do it again on Saturday. Okay? Support your Wildcats here at home next Saturday. Kickoff is at 3.30 p.m. For UNH Wildcat Productions, this is Fatima Jabber.